welcome back to Ava's Flavor. I'm Ava, and on today's Halloween special, I'm going to show you guys how to make some delicious treats. Some uh, vampire blood chili, some bat witches with monster cheese, and <laughs> some bat droppings, okay? So of course, before I suck your blood, I'm going to feed you, okay? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> okay, let me show you what you're gonna need. chili first or show you what you need for it first okay so first what you're gonna need is one medium onion chopped okay and here I have two 16 ounce cans of dark kidney beans and two 15 ounce cans of black beans okay a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes a 14 or uh, sorry a 10 ounce can of Rotel at the motel a tablespoon of chili powder and two teaspoons of cumin. Three garlic cloves. Okay, and a, a pound of ground chuck. So, first what you're gonna wanna do for the blood chili is take um, half your beans, half of the rotel, and half the diced tomatoes, put them in your food processor or blender, and blend them up and set push them to the side. And now I'm gonna show you what to do next. All right, so next what you're gonna do is turn on your burner to about medium high, and I'm gonna dump in a little bit of olive oil here, and then I'm going to saute these beautiful onions for about five minutes. So it looks like these, are, these onions are coming around the corner. Now I'm just gonna add my meat and um, crumble this up and let this cook, oh, season with salt and pepper. Okay, and then let this cook for like five minutes. All right, so our meat is nice and brown. So now what we're gonna do is start adding in our spices and our garlic, um, our two teaspoons of cumin, and our tablespoon of chili powder, and the garlic, and I know since I'm a vampire, garlic would normally kill me, but I'm living on the edge. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna cook this for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna uh, add everything else in. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is add in your eight ounces of tomato sauce, the pureed beans and uh, tomatoes that you did earlier. That's gonna help thicken it, see? It's beautiful. I'll scrape that out in a minute so you guys can see. Okay, and the other half of the tomatoes, rotel, and then the beans, and we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and, or sorry, a boil, and then uh, bring it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about 30 minutes, and then it's gonna be nice and bloody, just how I like. <laughs> so, while the chili is getting um, nice and delicious behind me, let me show you guys what you're gonna need for your little bat droppings, okay? So, first what you're gonna need is three ounces unsweetened chocolate, some candy corn, a cup of sugar, two-thirds cup of flour, a stick of butter chopped, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two large eggs. So, uh, preheat your oven to 350 first, and what you're gonna do now for your uh, bat poop, <laughs> it's easier to say that, um, where are brownies? We're going to dump the chocolate and and I'm gonna tell you guys that chocolate is not good to snack on, so uh, trust me, you won't wanna think you're cheating and taking a piece because they're not good yet. Okay, so we're just gonna melt this all together and then let it cool for a few minutes once it's done melting. All right, so it's all nice and melted and beautiful. And um, I'm going to set this to the side and let it cool and I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. 
So while our brownies are, our brownies, our, the chocolate is getting nice and cool, what you're going to do is take an 8 inch pan and line it with foil and make sure you have overhang. We like the overhang like we like our chubbo hubbo. I'm going to soak your blood. <laughs> okay, so then what you're going to do is um, uh, break your eggs in a bowl here. Eggs, sorry, oh shoot. Okay, your eggs, um, your sugar salt, vanilla extract, and your baking powder, and you're just going to whisk this all together until it's nice and smooth. Alright, so that's nice and smooth, and then we're going to whisk in our chocolate here, and just whisk that again until it's nice and smooth. So we're really getting whisk it. Okay, so now that's nice and smooth, and now we're going to whisk in the flour. And you're just going to whisk that until, whoops, <laughs> until there are no more streaks. Okay, so everything is nice and whisked together here. And don't be tempted to lick this because it's not good yet. I'm going to throw that in this thing. And then what we're going to do is pour this in our pan. And remember to spray with cooking spray, the tin foil. I don't know if I told you that. Okay, so just pour this in here and throw it in the oven for about 30 minutes. All right, so these brownies have been cooking for about 30 minutes, and they have about five minutes left. So in this time, we're going to go ahead and put the um, candy corn on, okay? Because you know how, like, when we eat corn, when we go to the bathroom and it looks like corn? Well, it's probably the same idea for bad. So then we're going to throw it back in the oven for five more minutes, and then they'll be ready. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make the bat witch sandwiches with Munster cheese. So for the bat witches, what you're going to need is um, some rye bread, some Munster cheese, smoked deli turkey, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, a little bit of olive oil, and a bat-shaped cookie cutter. So first what you're going to do is take your bat cookie cutter and make uh, little bat shaped breads, okay? In a Notorious TIP, do not throw away the crust, put them in a plastic bag and save them to make your own breadcrumbs. It's delicious. Okay, so next what you're going to do is just start assembling, okay? We're going to brush on a little bit of mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, and then uh, put turkey, Munster cheese, and then we're going to brush the tops with some olive oil. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just, uh, I've stuffed them and I'm just brushing the tops with a little bit of oil. Now you could eat them, well, minus the oil on top, just cold like that, but I'm going to be fancy and toast them, okay? So I'm going to go over here to my Foreman George and just toast them on each side for like maybe a minute or so. And then in the meantime, I'm going to check on the brownies. Okay, so our brownies are nice and done. They look beautiful. And some of the candy corn melted, but remember some droppings are softer than others. <laughs> going to suck your blood. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is let it uh, cool in this pan for about 10 minutes and then uh, lift it out of here. That's why we like the overhang. We're just going to lift it out of there really easy. Cool it on a wire rack for about two hours. Okay, I have nothing but time because I'm a vampire. Okay, uh, let's go check out the sandwiches. Okay, my little friends, here are all the beautiful treats and the chili I just put in these super little cute cups that I got from Walmart for like 97 cents. And the bat droppings got a little hotter than expected because they melted the candy corn, but that is fine. And I got the little um, beautiful bat witches with Munster cheese. Let's get bat poop crazy. Get it? <laughs> okay, and then here's little poop bags you can suggest to put the uh, brownies in, okay? So, um, I hope I made you guys' stomach growl and jiggle a little bit, and I hope you like this Halloween episode. Please check out my Ava Slava Facebook page, like it, and subscribe to me on YouTube, and share with your friends, okay? Or I'm going to suck your blood! <laughs> okay, bye. See you next time.